today and today we're going to have a game of Jack the Ripper on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum and this is a text adventure game and guess who requested it no it wasn't Andrew Heather it was DVD and film bloke on YouTube right so this is based on the real thing that happened years and years ago about the murderer right the year was 1888 the day I shall never forget it the 31st right I'm just gonna read through this quickly such vile evil. I was at the Whitechapel Road, end of Brady Street. The street lead, led north and south wire. Bucks Row cut off. Bucks Row cut off to the rest, west. Right. Right, let's go to... Let's go west then. I turned down Bucks Row. It was an hour with a few... Standing just a pub, just past the pub called the Roebuck. Its door was closed. Saw a man emerge from it of the type one would at least expect. He was dressed in a dark city suit. No, okay. I saw his face for a moment. I was at the Pucks Row which led east and west and Ali ran south. A man was walking briskly off to the west. Alright, let's go west. I followed the man along. Towards the end of the street, he turned up. Sorry, I found that he was nowhere to be seen. Second, oh shit, I got murdered. Second murder in White Tower. Second body was found dead in the street only yards from the victim in this case was, young, was a youngish man who, I don't know, he had been killed by a single blow struck from behind, which a blunt through to the skull. The body was not. Mutilated, and the police are unable to say whether they connection exists between the two killings. Yeah, so I got killed. Right, let's go for that again. I oh, would have to read all that. Let's um, let's go north this time. Pro urged me to take the northerly direction, but I realised it's for my way lay. So I can't go north. What about if I go south then? Oh, so I've got to go. I've got to go west. Right, I've seen that. So. Uh, and then Ali ran south. So we won't go. We'll go south. Turn south into an arrow. Ended. Struck me was the stench of the place. Yeah. Yeah, boy. 
in this chair. I wonder what I should do now. Right. Can I go west? I felt the urge to go westwards, but this was not possible. Right, I turned and fled from that dreadful place. and get a good look at me. I made my way home as at first. Narrow street seems bloody hell this is quite a <laughs> oh, I pushed on the pavement, her head smashed open. Brain spot. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we do get some pictures. I stopped shot. Shocked. Mistake. Policeman. Oh my god. Well then. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, this is a very dark game. I know it's based on the um, based on the um, Jack and Jack the Ripper. Well, well, you would expect it to be a happy story, would you? <laughs> but bloody hell! Bloody hell! It's a lot of <laughs> it's a lot of reading involved in this one. It was in my own room, it was small but comfortable and quite adequate, right. Looking about, I observe a, cl a, cl a clock on the wall, my bed, a fine, a washstand, occasional table and a cord hanging from the ceiling. Right, hang on, time passed, what do I do? Can we get um get called? It was firmly fixed. Do you mean occasional table? Oh that's the four. Oh, there's two. Alright. I mean I saw an did by uh, I heard a sudden shuffling sound in the room. My nerves screamed. It was only my lady now horrible oh, account of her but uh, I'm still reading her it's a bit suspected murder right okay examine the bed Sleep. <laughs> I bumped in it. My head, but I 
was unable to understand it. All right. Right, okay. Any directions I can go in then? be some direction I can go in north I felt as uh, to go in, but this was not possible south then east well I can go west I'm I was in I was on a small windowless landing flight of stairs what do I do go up all right go down then I can go down I was in the old way west lay the front door the stairs lead up well let's go west and go out the door as i walk through the door i know several constables posted across the street who appear to have watching the house suddenly i cry the cry went up i was seized the end okay that was dark <laughs> well, you expect it to be really. Um, once again, I'm going to say this: if you like text adventure games with a huge story, you know, maybe give this one a go. It's, I think, there's two cassettes or two discs, um, so it's a big game, a very big game. Um, yeah, <laughs> I can imagine it being a good one. If you like text adventure games, then give this one a go. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.